Good morning. How are you doing? Well, we are rolling again. And I'll give you some details right after this. So here I am, TA truck stop, um, don't know exactly the city, uh, Ganado, Texas, it's not far from Lolita, maybe 10-15 minutes down the road, uh, pulled in here because I really needed to scale it, um, there was an on-site scale, I knew I wasn't over gross, uh, I was only 78,000, so I just wanted to scale, make sure it's evenly distributed, and it's pretty good. Next time I fuel, I might move a couple holes just to balance some things out, but it's okay. Pretty heavy, but well distributed. So as long as it's well distributed, most of us can make it work one way or another. Um, and, and we really like that. So I got my numbers late, 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 late last night. Uh, my pickup numbers, if you're watching yesterday's vlog. You know, I showed up there too, uh, within their window, and um, two hours before their cutoff window, but I didn't have the right pickup numbers, so that caused an issue. Um, they can't release the load without the right pickup numbers, and yeah, so I ended up staying there the night. Went to them first thing in the morning, gave them the numbers, it was the right one this time. And because now I'm a late load, um, they fit you in when they can. Uh, you know, all their regular scheduled appointments have to come in on time. So when they get a, a little break in the window, then they'll squeeze you in. So I didn't get into a dock until about 11 o'clock. Got out of there. Um, scaled on the way out there. Just for gross weight, they can't do axles. But, and then so now I'm here so all because of one little mistake not having the right entry numbers not given the right entry numbers or my company not given the right entry um, pickup numbers why am I saying entry numbers pickup numbers you know what I mean um, that cost me almost 20 hours 20 hours when you know that that's that's a solid day driving in a 10, 10 hour off in that time. So, but you know what? We're rolling now. I'm done complaining. <laughs> and uh, we are, like I had plan A, plan B, plan C set up. And uh, I didn't think I'd be there that long. So I didn't think of a plan D. So I think now we're just going to wing it just drive on back to Ontario, Canada, and when we get there, we get there. Not much we can do about it. We were delayed from the start, so um, with electronic logs, there's, there's no way to make that up, you know. Not that you should anyway, you know. So, those people who still on paper logs, you know, be honest with yourself. Do things legal. Don't don't uh, don't don't take chances. So it, it it really isn't worth it. It's your career. You probably spent a lot of money to get your license. Um, even if you didn't spend a lot of money to get your license, you obviously spent a lot of time to get your your license. There, there's there's a cost you paid for it one way or another. You don't want to lose it because of something stupid. So anyway, that's my little. Stay by the book speech for today. So we're going to get rolling. I'll try and get a little bit of road footage for you. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm going up 59 until I get into Texarkana, I believe. And then I'll be hopping on 
the 30 there, and we'll figure it out. And um, see how today goes. It's been once I left, it's been going better.
here we are. We're at Tipson, Texas on I-59 North. Um, found a little place here that we could uh, pull in. There's not very many truck parking spots. There's like maybe five or six. But um, I was able to squeeze in here. Just a little SO, I guess. Um, on the side of the, or wouldn't be S, it'll be Exxon. Exxon, yeah, in the States, I forgot. Um, so I decided for the first time, I will try Whataburger. I had the opportunity here, there's a spot. So I thought I'd give it a shot, Every see what everybody's talking about. And there's the fries. There's a, I don't even know what the burger looks like yet. So, oh boy. Okay, uh, it's upside down, but hmm, I don't know, maybe it tastes better than it looks, that's what I'm hoping for, <laughs> but yeah, I decided to have lunch here, and uh, I'm going to continue up the road, I th think I'm a couple hours from Texarkana, maybe two hours, so I'd like to either get to Texarkana, but ideally I'd like to be past it. Um, not a fan of parking there. So we will uh, we'll see how the, the rest of the day goes, and uh, we'll figure it all out. Oh yeah, and they have um, spicy ketchup. Gotta give that a try if it's spicy. Okay, so I just finished having lunch. Um, had that want a burger. Well, first of all, I must say, I'm not a fan of fries and ketchup. However, that spicy ketchup is pretty awesome stuff. I, I actually grabbed two. I only used one. Don't need a whole lot on it. Um, it's really good. I actually want to use that on other stuff now too. I was thinking like a nice grilled cheese and dip the. Oh, anyway. Love the spicy ketchup. Fries are ordinary fries, just like you get anywhere else, I guess. And uh, the burger, though, hmm, it was tasty. Uh, the best way to describe it, I think, maybe you'll have to be Canadian to understand this, I don't know. But it's kind of like Wendy and Harvey had a child, and this is the outcome. It was really good. Um, I liked it a lot. I would, I would definitely come back again. I believe Whataburger is only a, a Texas, uh, Texas chain. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I do believe that. So, um, but I would go back, and I, it's got my approval. I, I kind of like it. Probably not something I go completely out of my way or anything for, but. If I need to buy a meal and it's nearby, like within walking distance, I would walk to it. So, but yeah, I just had to say my first experience there with Whataburger and I give it a thumbs up. I like it. You know, maybe a couple toots of the air horn. <laughs> Won't do that here though. <laughs> I think it got some sleeping drivers beside me. So, we're gonna head up the road gonna try to get to Texarkana. Uh, it's a couple hours away. I would like to get a little bit past that. I got some time on my log. I got about four hours. So we're gonna see uh, see what we can do and see how I feel because it is getting a little bit late. It's seven o'clock now. So finding parking might be a problem tonight. So I should start early. Start hunting early because they may be full and then I might have to just try to luck out somewhere, rest area or truck stop or, you know, any place I can pull in because I should be, I'll be on the I-30 by then. So, anyway, enough talking, let's get going. You're holding me back.
Prescott, Arkansas. We are at a TA. <clears throat> um, this was my best chance. I stopped at a rest area when I came into Arkansas hoping to nail a spot there, but because I was starting to feel a little tired. But uh, just 30 miles up the road is the Prescott TA, and it's a big one. I mean, I think it's 200 and what is it again? 200 and 84 spots or something like that that's here uh, 292 spots and here actually I'll uh, here I'll show you something so come here guys come here come on there you go all right so here's a uh, here's an app I use I hope this comes through this is um, called Trucker Path, and uh, you can you can actually find all your way stations and different truck stops and everything like that. There's the loves that's up the road. You just click on the one that you want, and it'll tell you all this information here. You know, the fuel price, how far away you are, um, your availability, all that stuff here. You can click on it. I had already selected when I pulled in here because it asks you. So I selected some parking spots already. So, because it's not quite full or anything like that. And then it tells you all the amenities that are here. Scale, showers, Wi-Fi, you know, uh, truck parking, overnight parking, RV dumps and stuff. So, then your address, the highway, all that. So, see, 292 spots. That's that's a large one um, for uh, for a truck stop. So, but yeah, um, we uh, we only did 491 miles today. So, I mean, it kind of sucks. But considering the start we had and how late it is now, and I had to run US 59 for the better part of six hours, and uh, you got to go through towns, around towns, all that stuff, so almost hitting 600 miles is actually pretty darn decent, you know. Uh, like I said, I like anywhere between 550 and 650, you know, that's pretty good. I'm usually in the 600 ballpark. Um, but if time allows and it's not, uh, you know, you, so some days you just can't, can't run that hard, you know, depending how much sleep you got, you had a noisy neighbor, whatever the case may be. So, uh, actually my neighbor, I think just went to bed, which is awesome. And, uh, but... Yeah, so I think it's uh, once again that time to edit all this footage for today. Um, I hope most of it turned out alright. And I, yeah, I'm going to be going to bed pretty darn soon. Because if we have two good days, we will be, we could make it Thursday night, like really late Thursday night. Um back to the yard in Kitchener but I'm more likely thinking it's going to be an early Friday morning uh, drop off <clears throat> but we'll see how tomorrow goes I uh, have a better idea how things go so remember like share subscribe and I will see you all tomorrow <laughs>